How's it going guys? We are back with a video here. I know I made a lot of videos on Team of the Year preparation and all that good stuff, but you know what? Now it's two days away. It's two days away. We are nearly here. Team of the Year is on the way. Uh, we have the men's and women's Team of the Year. I'm going to give you guys some, some facts here as well. If you didn't watch my last video on, my, on the nominees and all that good stuff, these are some facts that you, you really need to know that are important, alright? So... Uh, and also just some tips just going forward for Team of the Year, all right? And, you know, kind of just just guessing. Again, a lot of this is going to be guessing, but a lot of it's going to be informative as well, okay? So starting off with the first thing that I want to talk about, if you guys don't know already, this year's Team of the Year is not position locked, okay? So what does that mean? So again, it could be any three forwards, right? Doesn't matter if they're all centers. The same thing for defense. It could be two righties. It could be Adam Fox and Makar, for example, which I don't think it will. I really don't. Obviously, if you guys saw my prediction video, you know I think it's going to be Makar and Yossi, but it doesn't matter. And that's huge. And that makes it a lot more awesome. Okay, that's really, really good. I'm happy they did that because it being position locked is just terrible. And to me, it's just really silly. So other things I want to talk about as well, is that week one is going to be the men's team of the year, okay? Week one is the men's team of the year, all right? That is also confirmed. Uh, women's team of the year will be the week two. Uh, a lot of people also asking me, saying, Henrik, will I be able to make the men's team of the year card and women's team of the year card, you know, at the same time? Like, will those sets be out at the same time? I would say no. And the reason why I say that, similar to other events, like, for example, like uh, Evo, right? I think it's a good example, right? So those MSPs uh, would go away, I believe, after, like, so week two, the week one MSPs wouldn't be able to be made, right? I believe. I, th I think that's how it went for Evo, unless I'm wrong. But I'm guessing no. So uh, I believe that's how it was for Team of the Season last year as well. Uh, they kind of make it, like, hard and kind of rare, right, to make them. Like, they kind of give you a week, like, here you go. You got a week to make it, you know, figure it out, get the coins, get the money, whatever you got to do. Uh, you know, to, to make them, that's 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 the difference. Uh, and, and I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know if that's smart or not by EA. I don't, I don't know if I agree with it, but that's just how they do it. Okay, next up, another thing that's very crucial is, I mean, obviously you can't do it anymore. Hopefully you guys, they make a lot of those World Junior sets because, I mean, potentially that Shane Wright could be a 90 overall. could be huge to trade in. That, that 90 Shane Wright could be huge to trade in. Um, another big thing, uh, so I would guess... I would guess that we right now we have the highest overall you could trade in is 88. I'm assuming there will be 89 plus trade ins uh, for the Team of the Year event, right? And and the huge question really is, I think, right? I think everyone's main question is going to be, you know, how many collectibles are you getting, right? And I think a lot of it, really, what it comes down to, I would say, is honestly. I would say it comes down to, is it going to be like the Evo event or is it going to be like the stars of the month event, right? That's kind of the question, right? Because people really were wondering like, oh, like are, are, the, are the sets going to be like that, right? Like are they going to be like the stars of the month ones? A lot of people think it's going to be like the stars of the month ones, right? And I'm, I'm going to show you guys what that exactly is. I'll show you the Evo ones uh, as well here for you guys to kind of just put in perspective on what you could probably expect. Again, I'd bet good money it's going to be one or the other probably on like, you know, how similar the sets are and like the cost and all that good stuff, right? Just logically because they're higher end cards, right? Especially Evo, right? Evo is obviously the most expensive of them all. But for example here, this is the stars of the month, all right? So here are the sets. So basically you get a hot collectible for 35 gold cards, 20, 80 plus to get you one. I believe 20 81 pluses get you one. 16 82 pluses get you one, I believe. Let me see. I'm just looking through this right now. 16, yep, get you one. Uh, then 4 83 pluses get you one. Uh, 3 84 pluses get you one. Uh, we got 2 85 pluses get you one. Uh, then we have 186 get you one. That's crazy, I feel. That's actually kind of crazy, I believe. And then 187 gets you two. And then uh, I think I think there's one more set, right? Let me just double check here. Uh, yes, last but not least, yeah, but it's it's still two collectibles. So uh, that's a that's expensive. I mean, I, I really hope it's not like the stars of the month ones, right? Because those are quite expensive. Uh, but I guess you need to trade in 11 collectibles for a choice of one of two uh, right here. So that's I guess that's not. Too unreasonable, right? It's the uh, NHL random choice, which was I think it was like the Marner, right? And the, the Robertson and all that good stuff. So 
I guess not unreasonable by any means, but you know that's very important to think about as well. Then we have the Evo here. Okay, so the Evo was very expensive. We all know that. So it was 35 gold. I think it's the same, right? Like unless I'm wrong, am I missing something? I think that's pretty much the same. 35 gold will get you. Uh, what would you get you one? Uh, 16 A2 pluses uh, get you one as well. Uh, then we have uh, four A3 plus get you one. So these are very similar, I, I believe. I think the Evo and the, and the Stars of the Month are uh, pretty much the same. Is is really what it uh, what it seems like? Yeah, I mean, right? Because then three eighty fours get you one. Is it two eighty fives get you one as well? Because if it is, that'll yeah yeah. That then I'm guessing, honestly, guys. My prediction is it'll probably be very much so like these sets. I mean, it could be honestly more expensive. But just looking by by these, it makes sense that they'd probably cost a similar amount, which gets scary, right? Because, you know, we assume to actually make the Team of the Year cards, I mean, looking at last year, I mean, it costed like 100 and what, 80 collectibles to make McDavid. So, you know, it's a little bit scary when you think about, you know, for example, you got one collectible, right? One collectible here, uh, <laughs> and it's 285. So... Uh, for example, right, uh, let's say, uh, yeah, let, let's say, okay, so, yo, one couple for trading in 285s, right? You're gonna need a lot of 85s. It's gonna be really expensive, guys. That's kind of just my guess, okay? Like, I, I think that's one thing you guys need to know, right? Like, that's more preparation, just... It's going to cost a lot. And, and I honestly, I say it to a lot of people on my stream and people say like, oh, you know, I have, you know, 40 85s. I have, you know, 50 83s. You know, how many team of the years can I make? And honestly, I don't know for a fact because we don't really know how many collectibles these team of the years are going to cost to actually make. I recommend having as many 85s, 6s, 7s, and 8s as you possibly can. I wouldn't say, like, right now I have 800k. I'm not going to be like, okay, let me go spend 800k right now on 87s. You know, that's crazy a little bit to me. I mean, it, 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 it could pay off, but realistically, you know, you could buy all that potentially. And what if you can only make one team of the year? Which, again, that's huge. One team of the year is honestly better than none, of course. But... I just don't know. I, I I fear it. I really do. I really fear it. I mean, what are what are eighty four is going for right now on the auction house? That's that's a huge question, I believe as well. So let let's see right now what's going for. I'm assuming it's probably at least like four four k, right? I mean, let's let's check it out here. We got uh, yeah over four k would appear. So uh, yeah, it, it, it's because everyone's getting all ready for team of the year. I think honestly, hot take guys. I mean, you could probably like if you get eighty fours for like under. Four or five K. You can yeah. Oh wow. Oh wow. Avor is going for a great amount. Oh my. So people are really loaded up for team of the year right now. They're going for like seven K, I noticed. Oh wow. Okay. So all I can say is, guys, if you open packs as well and you pull 84 is tradable, that's very important. Honestly, if you don't think guys, okay, okay, okay. Very important info as well for team of the year, okay? If you don't plan to make a team of the year card, if you don't think you're gonna have enough. I would sell your 84s and your 5s now, okay? Because this is insane how much these cards are going for. And they are going to drop. They really are. Once Team of the Year is probably going on and, and, and uh, honestly over, it, it will simply drop a lot, you know? Because that's crazy. That's crazy to me that they're going for basically more than 7K, which is, which is wild. Yeah, it's just literally like you have one card at 7K. It just got posted up. A few minutes ago, I think it's got listed for 12 hours. They're going for like 8K, it looks like. Wow, that is incredible. That is incredible. They're going for like 8K pretty much. So, yeah, I mean, that's that's a lot of coins that you could be having. So, keep that in mind. There's a little bit of a, of, of a fun fact for you. But, yeah, my last piece of advice, my last video I'm making on Team of the Year before it actually comes out on Friday, it's going to cost a lot. It is going to cost a lot. Just be ready for that. You know, I, I'm warning you now. Uh, you you gotta have a lot saved up, and and if you don't have a lot saved up and you have a lot of tradable cards, I'd probably be pre I'd prepare to sell them now. I'd be very prepared to sell them. All right. So hope you guys did enjoy this last preparation video. I know I made like three of these now, but Team of the Year is the biggest event of the year, I'd say, and I think it's deserving of three videos. So again, last few uh, last few days here to you know get your predictions in. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Who is going to be? In the team of the year, all right? Make sure you follow me on Twitch, Henrik. I'm live every single day. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrik with three E's. And join the Discord to talk to me, followers, subscribers of the channel. And I'll see you all in the next video.